So this is a cool problem. We're going to find the 101st derivative of sine x. Now, that doesn't mean we're going to find 101 derivatives. What we're going to do is we're going to look for a pattern. So if the function is sine x, we know that f prime of x equals cosine x. We know that the second derivative of x is the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine x. And we know that the third derivative is the derivative of negative sine x, which is negative cosine x. And then finally, we know that the fourth derivative of x is the derivative of negative cosine x, which is a positive sine x. And notice we're back to where we started. So it turns out that the, the fifth derivative is actually going to be cosine of x. The sixth derivative would be back to the negative sine x. The seventh derivative is going to be back to the negative cosine x. And the eighth derivative, that's going to be as far as we really need to go, is going to be back to sine x. So what we should notice here is that every time we have a derivative that's a multiple of 4, we get back to sine x. So what that tells us is this is also going to be the 101st derivative of, or excuse me, the 100th derivative of x. We know that that's sine x, and we know the derivative of sine x takes us right back up to here, so that's going to be the 101st derivative of x is simply going to be for this particular problem, cosine of x. And that's how we can follow a pattern with the sine or the cosine function, and we can find the 1,321st derivative very quickly.